so proud of our guys. Um, down a lot of people. Their approach doesn't change. You know, we get asked questions about these games don't mean anything, but they mean something to them. Um, again, they all want opportunity. They all want to be in the NBA. They're all trying to make a name for themselves. We're trying to make a name um, for our program in Utah. And these guys have embodied it every single day. Um, you know, I think we did a good job tonight making Denver play a type of game they don't want to play. Um, you know, Jokic takes five shots. I think the zone kept him from getting a ton of touches. We wanted them to play over the top of us if they were going to beat us. Um, that's what we talked about as a team. And, you know, they, they took 35 shots in the paint, and we made 32 shots in the paint. Um, so we really made them shoot a ton of jump shots. Obviously, the third quarter, everybody gets a little squirmy because they made a bunch of threes. Um, but that's the variance that we've seen in the three ball. I think overall our defense was great. You know, I think having watched enough of Denver over the course of the year, it sounds good to guard Jamal Murray and Jokic in their two-man game and man and guard the cutters and stay underneath and all that stuff sounds good in the walkthrough. But they've shown time and time again that they're elite at playing that way. And so we came into tonight's game with the mindset of we wanted to try to make them play a different style. And our guys were really committed to it. A um, ton of people stepped up tonight. You know, Luca gets his. I'm going down the box score, not by importance, just so you guys know. Uh, <laughs> Luca, Luca gets you know the new contract. It's been in the G League for a long time. Scores 23 points, has eight rebounds tonight. Um, Doke plays 30 and a half minutes, gets 11 rebounds. Really does a good job controlling the paint for us. Um, Ochai, 28 points, takes 25 shots. Um, at the end, we went to some isolation stuff for him inside the three-point line, and he scored two out of three times. Um, Chris Dunn, 14 assists. His ability to break guys down off the bounce continues to amaze me. Um, he's so shifty. He has a great change of pace. So we're trying to give him some space similar to how we play with Colin sometimes of just you don't bring a screen, you just let them play one-on-one -on -one with space and they have the ability to put pressure on the rim. Um, you know, Tech had 15 points that were very important and Micah Potter, who we have not talked about really any this year. Um, he's been on a two-way the whole season. He is as professional a young player as I've ever been around. Um, stays ready, knows the game plan, is locked in, cheering for his teammates, yelling out the defense on the bench every game that he's here. He hasn't gotten a ton of minutes. Tonight he plays 21 minutes and gets a double-double. Um, showed the ability to shoot, which is not a surprise to any of us that have been around him this year or followed the G League. But, um, you know, so happy for him to come in and step up and get the win. Um, I think to the question that was asked pregame about feeling full circle in this building this year, now it feels a little more full circle. You kind of get the improbable win at the end of the year as well. Um, I'm just I'm, I'm really proud of the guys and can't stress enough how hard it is to maintain the focus when everybody's telling you that these games don't matter. You look at what Ochai did in terms of his offense. A lot of his stuff was timely, like he keyed the the big first quarter spurt for you guys, and then when you rallied in the fourth quarter, he had the big baskets and that decisive run. Can you just uh, what, what stands out about him in those moments where he just was able to deliver in the clutch? Yeah, I think we've talked some this year about Ochai's played in a lot of big games. You know, he played four years at Kansas and he won a national championship, was most outstanding player in the final four. Like he's played in big pressure games. Um, he just hasn't done it yet in the NBA. And so I think it's it's great to see him in those settings. You know, the goal is for him to be in playoff games moving forward and to be in those types of environments. But, um, you know, coming down the end of a game as a young player and having the ball in your hands and having the ability to make decisions, like, you cannot simulate that in practice. We try our best as coaches to put guys in situations to replicate some of that, and just nothing will ever compare to what it feels like in an NBA arena 
especially this one um, coming down the stretch. And so uh, I'm, I'm really glad that he got the experience, and then it's awesome to see him deliver. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Fun.